haters don't die. Don't die. She talking it, she ain't trying it. He keep calling me crying, bitch. Dance, how you kill this? I understood the assignment. I understood the assignment. I understood the assignment. Check, 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 check. The moment we've all been waiting for, we are now live. Creators don't die. TV. Gunshots, gunshots, but air horns, the whole nine, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> appreciate all y'all for sticking through. Appreciate all y'all for laying on me. The wait is finally over. I had to do it right. I had to do it. Actually, I should come up with like an intro, you know what I'm saying? I'm your host with the most. The host Jackson, with the most. You know what I'm saying? Most of the host, blessed and highly favored by the most high. And figure something out, you know what I'm yeah. saying? But look, this is the very first episode, so we're just going to work through the kinks of all of this, you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to be media trained. I'm not going to be on no journalistic shit. We're just going to have open and clean dialogue. I'm going to bring y'all some culture <laughs> news, bring y'all work. He news. being so crazy. We finna talk our shit. Cheers. That part, but you know, what I'm you know, nothing is off limits. Let's go. Well, let me talk. Thanks. Hey, bang, 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 bang. Take money. money. My name, hold money. Can't spend it how I want, cause it ain't show money. Nothing, nothing. Look, without further ado, I know y'all already see who we got right here. You know what I'm saying? We got the motherfucking king of dallas motherfucking texas you feel me king of we texas got, <laughs> we got big big tay money she just said king of texas i'm gonna erase the dallas i'm sorry yeah king of texas right here you know what i'm saying our very own hometown hero you feel me we don't snatched out of athens and shit. we're claiming <laughs> her right now so we're gonna go through the whole drill we're gonna go through her entire come up we're gonna we're gonna get into it i hope you're ready you know what i'm saying in the meantime, the only way to get started, we gotta we gotta get these drinks off. It's been a long day. I, don't I think was y'all waiting understand. on you. So I was waiting on you. Let's get it, shit. You want a Casamigos? Yes. We got some. We got some Ace of Spades. We got Crystal. Let's get I'm, into it. I'm here lying. So we got Moet. And we got some. We got some gas station shit. Now, okay. Moet gonna go pretty crazy. I'm okay. So I don't know. What should we do? Shots first, or uh, we gotta take a shot of tequila first. Uh, I'm That's gonna say so I want to pop this bottle and I want to like, you know what I'm saying? Like we in a music video. We are going away right like now. I'm going to like toss some of this shit on the floor. I'm sorry, Biv. But this is launched the official premiere, Creators Don't Die TV. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You are Should we do it at the same time? I okay. Can, shake it a little bit. Make sure it gets this. You need help? Yeah. Wait. You got it? Yeah, hey, bitch. That's an independent woman, huh? <laughs> yeah. I'm going to take it out of a cup because... Ah, uh, don't be a wuss. You're wood. behind. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, I'm scared. I don't want... Where are you going? I'm scared. This is where one of us lose an eye. Nah, this shit better pop and not fucking... You better not embarrass me and pop like a... <laughs> All right, come on. Come on. <laughs> There you go. There you go. So toast to the motherfucking good life. Toast to the first. Toast to many toast more. Toast to the toast most. To the, the very first host, Mecca motherfucking Jackson on the motherfucking track. That's your intro. You better get your ass back. Boom. Play with them for what? You ain't got all these stacks. Hey. <laughs> and yeah, all right, come on. Shots. Cheers to you. You want to take some champagne too? In a second. All right. I don't know why I expected Crown because. You asked for Casamigo, I so. I recently switched my drink of choice. Damn, I want to burp. I don't know how that's going to work on camera. <clears throat> Excuse me. <sighs> Again, look, you this is crazy be- on that TV. I do what I want. You know what I'm saying? I can stutter if I want. I can slur my words if I want. You know what I'm saying? We're here to have a good time. I'm going to bring y'all a lot of special guests, special people in my life, cool people. And of course, they're not all going to be as famous as Tay Money. I can but bring you a crackhead next chill. week. Chill. <laughs> But we all gonna vibe the fuck out. So without further ado, let's get right to you. Tay, what's good? How are you? I'm ready for these questions. I love to answer questions. I wish people would ask me more questions. So I I'm gonna just start off with the flowers. Like you realize like you like you like all right, we look at you like like you made it, made it, made it, right? Sorry, okay, go ahead. Sorry, 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 go ahead. (laughs) Focus like so. 
we look at you like you like you made it made it like it was like damn y'all remember take money from yeah like she made it now like do you realize yeah. like do you realize like Ricky outside Bush. perspective like how that how that looks because i know you're in the middle of it you know what i'm saying so some people talk to me and they're like man you do your thing da, 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 da. <laughs> but it's certain people like like you like sean cotton like i look up to like y'all uh y'all y'all motherfuckers inspired the shit out you know what i'm saying every time i see y'all y'all doing new things i thrive to do i inspire i aspire to do so how does that like feel how does that what's that what's that like especially out here in dallas when you back here you feel the love for where you came from mm -hmm. and then or fuck dallas athens when you go back home and shit what's um it's it's definitely a very it's a rewarding feeling but um like you learn like you learn to like kind of take yourself i don't know i feel very normal i feel like i haven't made it but i know that i've accomplished a lot of great things yeah but there's so much more to come and and, and honestly it'd be feeling so surreal that sometimes i don't really re realize what i have done it ain't like fully sunk. It's like it ain't fully sunk in. Every yet. day is, is exciting. Every Damn. day is exciting. This shit keeps making me want to burp. I'm just, I'm just so <laughs> dead. I'm so dead. <laughs> like it. It's the greatest one on TV, right? <laughs> I'm sorry. Excuse me. We could cut that no, out. No, that's going to be there. great. You have to All leave right. it in. Okay. So I feel like you're also like, uh, you're super grounded. You know what I'm saying? If that's the word I'm looking for. Like, um, but I feel like a lot of times that comes with like you knowing, just being self-aware, knowing who you are, already being grounded, already being that that bitch that before you made it, you know what I'm saying? You're a character, and bro. You like when you make it, it doesn't really like change because it's a lot of people I see, a lot of people from the same scene who've who made it or got like maybe a smidget of clout, like they were about to make it, and they they turn super brand new. Like they almost like turn their back on, on the same city that put them there or the same people, the same scenes and stuff like that. But what, um, shit, what it, all right, behind your back, nigga, I'll be out here. I'll be defending, we t I, I give you your praises, your flowers and Thank shit, you. you know what I'm saying? Thank cause people, much. cause people, people need to know like you, you don't have to be here right now. You feel me? You it's was just so nice. on so Shade nice. Room. You was just but on. But you want to know what? I look at you like that. Ish. I think that you have great things going, and, and that's why I'm here. And, and I mean that from the bottom of my heart, or I wouldn't be here. I think you're doing great things. I see you. I see you on the news. That's big to me. Like when I was on the news, I was on the news recently, and like you that's were. big. Yeah. And you were too. I, I, I get what you're saying. Yeah. I'll take I'll take the compliment yes, too. Yes, please you know do. I'll bless you or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> all right so I, I feel that and it's all about okay maybe it's all about like perspective you know what i'm saying like it's, here's what it comes down to it's hard to believe it's you when it's you does that make sense true true like you know when you're when you're living it like you said in the middle of it you don't realize it's kind of like working out it's like you go to the gym and every day you're looking at yourself so you don't see a difference but if you look at a picture from way back then you see a difference when i look at pictures of myself i'm like look at that girl in retrospect if all... she only knew what was coming you know yeah but i feel like i'm looking at myself right now in the mirror i'm like if you only knew what was coming yeah no i feel that and okay well for me why i feel well, I'll be feeling super regular and shit. Like I'm still in the trenches. It's just because I have a, like where I'm trying to go, where of I course. thought I was already, I really, I'm behind. I was supposed to be like a, a million, about 25 in my head. You know what I'm saying? So as much as mm -hmm. it's like a, I guess we fall victim to comparison and stuff. There's always going to be somebody doing better than you, however you look at it. So I don't let that like, um, I use that to humble me at the same time, keep me hungry because it's always more, it's always new grounds to break. It's always more records to break. You, when you use the word more, that's perfect because no matter what, you will always want more. Exactly. You will always want more until that, and, until, you, until you start to lose something is when you start to realize what you have. Nah, you're right. And there's no, um, I, I guess, it's like a half empty, half full. I don't think there's ever like like Jeff Bezos right now or Elon Musk. He's worth two hundred and what eighty billion as of the last count. So I think 
he still wants he's the ri richest man in the world but he still wants more, more. money he can't it's even crazy, spend right? the money he has but he still wants more but at the same time this man might have erectile dysfunction or some shit you know what i'm saying <laughs> like he might have liver he's problems very too. human we are all very human and and we are all very disposable so on another level i also feel like we're on a human level we're all equal I do agree with you whenever you say that you feel like you haven't done yet, shit yet because when you look at where you want to go and what you want, I totally yeah. agree with that. So that's why I be like, oh, I'm not shit yet because the the life I want to live is not right here yet. But yeah. the best, why is we expecting the best to be right now? Why you want the best to come already? Yeah, like enjoy the journey yeah. and keep it going. Yeah, I guess that's just the... That would be like the, the lesson learned, you know what I'm saying? From whatever perspective you're looking at it, you're you're further than somebody and you're behind a lot of people, you know what I'm saying? Regardless of what you're doing. So regard, you could be LeBron James right now or you could be Elon Musk, but, but that one thing you're, you might be better, but it's somebody else better than a thousand other things, you know? It's but you're you and they're not. You know, I'm not LeBron James, I'm Tay Money. You're not Tay Money, you're Mecca motherfucking Jax. I think I, I think that the message is that you sh should be the best you, just be you. I message yeah. number one, look, we got to a message that quick. Let's that take, quick. Let's take another Leave a message. Take another shot or Let's get to these drinks. You said you was ready. I don't know what you're doing right Hold now. Hold on, I had to hand the Casamigos to my homeboy because we love the Casamigos. Hold on, here it goes. Thank you so much, hunty. Nigga got a Henny jersey on. <laughs> <laughs> Mixed dark and white liquor, what are you doing? Listen, Casamigos is his drink uh, you, though. You do what you do, shit. Come on, I'll take a shot too. Yeah, because you was on the Moe, Moe, Mote. Mo Wait, okay, is that I, too I like big that. for you? Like, is that too, what? stop playing. Don't look at those sides of mine. Pause. Um, we, this conversation went like. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, time for me to ask you a question. Knock it out. Ah, it cost me. It was so smooth. How long like, have you been? Just... How long have you been doing this? Like the underground, everything. So, I've been. I've been a. Uh, uh, all right. I've been doing. Okay. The I moved out here for college, right? Uh, UTA. Uh -huh. And so it started off, I started off like producing and rapping, like in my basement, like fucking recording all the homies that went to college that were rapping and the whole nine. And then as far as that, so this is in Arlington here. We were damn near well, like running Arlington. Like what year? So as far as popping in Dallas, I'd say like 2013 maybe. Mm -hmm. And then, we, so we were doing like um, open mics and shit like that, but at the same time doing like- Like at public places. No, like Deep Ellum, when oh, Deep okay. Ellum was nothing, you right. feel me? So we used to be at a spot called Arnetic. So I don't know, you only, a lot of y'all don't, a lot of y'all know Arnetic and shit. So I don't know if you were like the ADDs and Blue to Misfits, DJ when Sobers, all of them, they DJ used to be DJ Sober. At, yeah, like they yeah. used to, everybody kind of, it was like the hub for the Dallas Underground, the Arnetic. And it was it was an open mic. Jesse Porter, he used to like him and like Sanjay, they used to run it every every month. And it was just the hub for Dallas Underground. And so we drove to we'll drive to Dallas and we'll bring like like 50, 60 people with us out from Arlington, you know what I'm saying? And then we just started like performing and people started like getting to know me. And then at the same time here in Arlington, I'll have like house parties or like 300 people by midnight, cops shut it down and of all course, that. Of course, of course. So it was kind of, so things like that were happening where I didn't really take it as like networking, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? But I was just meeting a lot of people and people just were doing. knowing me for parties. And then I'd started like hosting my own parties and then people started booking me to host their parties. And then it kind of just evolved on its own and I just started picking shit up one by one. So I started like producing, sound engineering, then rapping, then started like emceeing, then along the way, fucking doing graphics, DJing. And, and then I started like booking, okay, so 20, like 16, 20, 2016 was when officially I started um, with like, top, remember Top Shelf? 
I do. Top so shelf. top shelf, that's gang. So a lot of those um, shows we were doing where I started like um, hosting or like booking a lot of events with them. So a lot of, we did a lot of like first Texas tours. So from, from Cardi and Uzi, Left Right Tour, did that like in a I small was at room those profit shows. bar. I was at those shows. So small room profit bar, if I remember, it was like 500 capacity. And she, we had Cardi, Uzi, Yachty, he premiered like one night that night. Rich the Kid was there, the whole nine. So was this, where was this? This, this was, was at Profit Bar, like 2016, maybe. Mm. The small, so remember the, yeah, remember Profit Bar, small, the small I, room? I do, but I remember Cardi being at Ash Lane. He was there too, yeah. Oh. I mean, back then, so Cardi, Father, um, Key? Key, all of them, they like Maxo, um, Ian Connor, yeah. they'll be in Dallas, like, I mean, they Kalish? were. Yeah, 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 yeah. So like um, that whole era, I see. I think that was like 2016, 2017. That's era. right when I moved here. All right, so that era, that's when like things started getting popping. So we did, I did like Larry June's first um, Dallas show. Like this is like RBC did like Lil Pump and Smoke Perp did. I remember all of this. Yeah, You're so a we would just kind of appreciate that. Yeah. Fucking, it was a, it was a lot. It was, that it was, was a, a time in Dallas, and I wish that that time would come back. It kind of, I mean, it's still, it, it's a gold, it's different. It's like oh, a golden will never, era. That will never be but, a time like that again. Yeah. It was but, a, but it was amazing. And and there are many more great times to come, but that time was crazy. Yeah, but I feel like it's it's so nostalgic because we were, now nah, we, we were all, you can bring some more. Yeah, we got, come on, bring that. I see the crown. Got, crowns, I see the crown. I got the crown at Paul. <laughs> Shout out to motherfucking biz, man. Yeah, we out here. Y'all know what it and is. And we're mighty is. cultural it's the right crown now. Appeal. So we were at um okay, that era is super nostalgic and it's like a golden era because during that same era, it was like, remember, yeah, like shots of like crit life, like gun. Oh, yes, for the free Wi Fi gun, yeah, the Johnny K. We are the, Dallas, like every But like I, I you know what? This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna bring that back. And those people can only perform those songs. Nah, dead ass. Now, every I just did a, so I did the D Savage tour with Gun. And I, did, I saw it. Yeah, I was, was talking on, to him. But I mean, like, I nigga, you, you got got to run back Johnny K. Like, you got oh. he doesn't. I mean, he doesn't perform it anymore because it's old. But I feel him as an artist. We have new things and we grow and we evolve and we want y'all to rock with us. But still, you still got to toss on the classics. Yeah, like, I, I mean, I still perform Trappers of Light. I'm going to tell Gun, you Gun, you've got to perform Johnny Cage for uh, the one time, for the one time, OK? Me. You got to start burping for I, I am so sorry. I, hey, drink some burp. away. You got to No, because so I'm be sounding let's, like you. Let's, let's, let's burp. <laughs> I'm talking about, yeah, I'm awesome. <laughs> all right, so this same, all right, so this same era, right? Uh -huh. um, everybody kind of like found their they little niche and somehow, some way, yeah, I just, I started getting booked more to host events and mm -hmm. I started throwing my own events and less like performing, but at the same time I was still like, I, cause I still, I shoot music videos and I do I see, films, yes. I do a little bit of everything, but it's like, I ain't, it's been like hard to focus on one thing because I get like bored and then like now I'm doing crazy. You know what I think TV. you would be great at? What? I think you would be great at radio. I appreciate that. I used and to I, I did like that's... Red Wave Radio for a second too. Some people know me from it's like online internet radio, fishbowl. But I would love to do radio too. Let's get I think it. we may get in trouble because we'd be cussing, but. Nah, it's a, uh, it's fucking, it's 2022. So typical <laughs> radio is dead. So, okay, I had applied to, um, I remember applying to like 97. Yeah, I applied to like 97.9 and K104, right? Mm -hmm. Shout out both of them. But K1, they told me I was like overqualified. So oh, he's too good. He, he's he too to, good. He said, he was, okay, well then guess what? Well, let's start our own radio. Nah, because I was like, I was trying to climb my way up to being on air and doing all on air personality. So I was mm -hmm. going to start from like like street team or wherever they need me to. And they just kind of turned me down. But everything happens for a reason. Because, I mean, we hear Everything now, does right? happen for a reason. And that's why we're here right now. So, okay, this, back to this Back era, to it. Back I to feel play. like, all right, you came in, like you said, 2016, 2017, to I Dallas. did, I did. So I, uh, from Athens, I was doing hair. And so you should, you should be at parties just kicking it, just well, I tell not everybody. even like, 
I, I mean, you there. probably had it in I your mind there. to rap, but people remember you. That's the, all right. That's what I want this this whole thing to be about. Because a lot of people watching this, all right, again, outside looking in, inside looking out, right? Mm -hmm. We're here, we're chilling, but it's a lot of people watching this, like, going crazy right now. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, crazy. literally, as we're watching this, there's, they're like, you're right, I'm going crazy right now. Just because, for one, it's like, I create us don't it's thing, I'm my thing, you're take money and shit. You feel me? So it's a it's a lot of people that know us on a personal level. It's a lot of people that know us on like a superficial level, only online, probably never even had a conversation and shit like that. But people have known us for like years on this Dallas scene. Of course. Granted you're like a worldwide sensation now. But <laughs> this one is people on the on the core. Like I'm saying so people crazy. we talked about, they're like, man, we remember when Tay Money was at no, they don't. That's the thing. No, they, they, what? they don't. They don't know that Tay Money because there was a lot of times Tay Money was there and nobody knew. Because no, Tay I Money, mean, you, we we all like people. You, all your all your homies and shit. It's a that's okay. You was outside back then too. I was outside. Yeah, I've had, you been like outside rapping, my... but you were outside. I was outside. So yeah, they all remember you, and then they remember that transition. Whether they believed in it initially or not. So it's of like, course. wow, that you're here right now. You know what I'm saying? So, okay, <laughs> I'm not gonna interrupt you for a sec. Just run through that whole transition, like moving to Dallas, seeing this golden era we were just talking about. And shout out to, everybody, before I even go into that, shout out to everybody, shout out to that from Gun, Crit Life, fucking Outfit Texas, yes. Blue. All of them, fucking, every single one of them. Yeah, it's Trap a Mama, of, KC the Mac. Don't play with all us. That, all Don't that, play all with that. them. All that. Because the Outfit Texas originators, creators for real, and they will never die. They don't die, right? Facts. We just want to give every, again, there's so many names to like name there's drop. There's so many names that I couldn't name. But over the course of this, as I, I remember, I'm going to keep tossing them, tossing them out because so people can be like. Of course. So like, basically what happened was I was doing hair in uh -huh. Athens, Texas, and I was in a part, in a, I was in a place in my life where I didn't need to be. And my mother, my savior, my mother, my mama, she was living in the colony. And so she brought me up here to stay with her. What's that, Colony, Texas? The Colony, Texas, yeah, by Frisco. All right, yeah. Uh -huh. um, I still have my clientele in Athens. So I would spend half of my week up here with her mm -hmm. and half of my week doing hair. I would strictly do hair there and come back here. Eventually, I moved everything, you know, up to Dallas, and I started working up here. Um, but I, I didn't have any friends, and I didn't know anybody. So I would go on Twitter, and I would type in Dallas Tonight. Dallas Tonight. And I would look at the latest tweets, and I went to every single fucking party there was. I went to every show. But what happened was I was with my friend Justice, and we were driving through Deep Ellum, and I had never seen anything like that because I came from Athens. I'm driving, and she goes, oh, my God, that's Crit Life. And she tripped out, and I'm like, who's Crit Life? <laughs> oh, my mama, I'm like, who's Crit Life? And she was, you know, the way she was talking about them, you know. And I was excited. I'm like, there they are. Like, I've never seen anything like this. It looked like Vegas would look to me, you know what I'm saying, from where I came from. Now, that's so, what peak Tom and Deep Ellum too. you know what I'm saying? It was lit. Before it, Deep Ellum got super, now it's like... He said he wasn't going to interrupt me. And it's, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm trying to explain for... Because Deep Ellum has changed, you know what I'm Deep saying? Elm so when you say Vegas, people are not... They're not, they're not understanding. Understanding, yeah. Deep Ellum now is like either gentrified or like shootouts. Yeah. No, in between. Back then, it was super creative, artistic. It was, it it was, was Vegas alive. meets... Um, Texas. Like, yeah, it meets like Austin 6th Street or whatever. All right, carry on. Okay, okay. It was Crit Ace, um, and he was walking, and, and Justice rolls down the window, and she's like, where are you going? We're like, what are you doing? He's like, we're performing at the Curtain Club. So I park my car, and we go. That night was just, I'll never forget it. Like, I'll never forget it. I know what I had on. So, okay, so then... You know, I start getting to know people's names, putting faces with names and stuff. Um, but I was at the Green Elephant one night, and Crit Life, I, I think they had brought out Trap Mama and Casey the Mac. 
Mm -hmm. And they have a freestyle together and they performed it. And when I saw it, I fell in love with those girls because I was like, I be rapping it in my car, but it was never going to leave my car. It was never going to leave my car. So you were like freestyling your yeah. car or you had like written raps already? No, 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 no. Just freestyling my car. All right. So like Mike Jones and Big Tuck Instrumentals. Word, word. And, and, and I fell in love. I didn't even think that that was an option, a possibility, a thing that I could even do. Yeah. Um, and from I seen the outfit perform at the door. They ripped down the door. Fuck y'all for ripping down the door. Yeah. Fuck y'all. You know this. I uh, see. I'm about to interrupt you again. Yeah. Okay. Back yeah. to the film. There's no like. Yeah. Um, okay. Okay. There's no performance venues anymore. There's nothing. And I will put one in. Please. So I will put one in. The door shut down. Curtain club is all the spots we just spoke They're about done. right now. Hilarious. It's shut down. So the door, curtain club, um, profit bar. Um, where else? Yeah, there's no. I'm telling you that when I get a substantial amount of money, and I'm take money. I got some money, but this, I need to make sure that me and my people are right first. But when I get my me and my people right, the next thing I'm doing is I'm opening a venue for artists and I'm opening a studio for artists where they need to feel like I need to feel. You know what I'm saying? Y'all heard it right here in Dallas, motherfucking Texas. I'ma do that it. Go. I said I'ma do it. I'ma do that it. I said I'ma do this shit. Like, I'ma do I this mean, shit. you already know. You already know. You ain't like that would be. But y'all can't be acting a dumbass out here shooting shit up and need you to keep all that bullshit. Just stop and just respect it because we don't have those places. So when we get those places, y'all need to respect that. Nah, I hate to break it to you. I ain't even gonna bust the bubble, but not my bubble. Yeah, you ain't gonna bust my bubble. It's sad, but certain things are like just almost inevitable. You know, what I saying? do feel that, but that that's why I'm saying him right now. When we get these places, we have to cherish these places. Yeah, because we don't have nothing to do. We don't have nowhere to go where we are safe. You know what I'm saying? So let's be safe. Especially in Deep Ellum, like it's either gentrified where there's dress codes and you have. Um, or you gotta wait in line, or any pay a cover. <laughs> so All only that. few places of culture, and then those places within the heartbeat, it turns into, oh man, I don't want to go there. They That's be okay. We're gonna right? have top flight security. Period. Of the world, Craig. All right, go back to your. Okay. Yeah. You got ADD or no? Uh, maybe. But yeah, okay. I'll be all over the place, so I got to so like... So we in Deep Ellum, I fell in love with it. I didn't ever think it could be a thing. I started rapping. I was doing Dance Daily's hair. He liked to... He had long hair. He was Shout a, out to Daily. Daily. Yeah, He's a videographer, an epic legend videographer. And he's like, how much for you to dye my hair this color? I'm like, by the way, I started rapping. And how I started rapping, how it left my car was I called Spencer. Y'all know Uncle Skits? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ble R. P. R. P. Shout out to my fucking Skits, yeah. man. I don't know if it wasn't for Skits, if we would be having this conversation right now because wow. I asked him to take me to a studio and he took me to his friend's house. You, you were fucking like, like Five Side? Remember Five Side? Yeah, all of Devin, Shout all of them. Shout out to Sushi, shit. Lou yes. Dean was Five Side yes. back then. And that is why I called Skits. I knew him personally as a friend and I had seen I had heard his stuff. I had heard that he had wrote for some people. I called him because I didn't have the balls to do it myself. And he helped me find my balls. <laughs> so you just got in the studio like? With Seder. Okay. Yeah, I made this song. It's called Lewis and Clark. And this is my um, disclaimer. Spencer helped me write it because I didn't think what I would say was cool enough. Yeah. I was scared that I was just scared and I didn't think what I was going to say was cool enough. And now I think what I got to say is cool enough and I say everything. Yeah, confidence, you know Yes, I had to get some confidence. But shout out to, shout out to Uncle Skits. Like, I he remember, said some okay, things that I didn't really want to say. I'll tell you that. But as a writer, <laughs> his pen game, just his creativity. Yeah. Okay, I remember he, when he, um, I, I met all of them opening up for like Young Thug. It was like a, a show. I was opening up, they were opening up and... Young Thug never showed up, and it was this whole... So the whole thing was for y'all? Yeah, like, we sold tickets and a whole bunch of shit, but Young Thug, <laughs> yeah, it was like, we 365, shout out to 365 Live also. And free Young James, Thug. James, all of y'all, yeah. yeah, free YSL, the whole nine. Yeah. But then, um, that's how I got cool with them. And I remember, um, like, with Ludine, he had, he had this, um, Ludine had this song where 
I don't know if Skits was on the hook for sure. It's like, don't this stop my forget Hey, Dunde this guy. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. And yeah, I thought that shit was about to go. No. You know what I'm saying? And then. He's so hard. Anyway, all right. Okay, he's so hard. He's so hard. Um, Spencer. Um, so Lewis and Clark. Yes, he and Spencer had his own life and in, in, in his own relationships, and he couldn't meet me at the studio and work when I wanted to work. Yeah. So eventually, I had to know that I could do it on my own, and that's why I, I got in my bag and um, I turned in to take money, but I was still doing hair. And I was living with my mama, and I showed Gun a song. I showed Gunn a song, and the way he looked at me, and and the way that he told me, the the way he reacted to the song was when I was like, "Yo, I might be something." Which, I'm so which, serious. Song is it's it? called Nana, and it wasn't uh, done. The, I think he won my Nana. Nana. I, yeah, I'm like Nana. Nana. Yeah. Um, and that's that's when I started finding my confidence. So all these songs, okay, I, I don't remember. I don't hearing, even think he I don't knows remember that. hearing Lewis and Clark. I remember. I remember Nana. Okay, I think the first video I seen was like Tay Money Souffle Tay. Yeah, shot by Dan Staley. Yeah. So how did I guess at what point was of this trajectory was that song? Was that like one of your first couple songs? Or um, that was like. So I made I made music um, with Sater and uh -huh. Spencer, and then I made music with Sater. And then I made music with Drophy. If I get my work from the narco. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, um, I made my music with Drophy, um, where I met Dustin Cavazos. Shout out to Dustin too. He and I met Sam, who goes by Guitar Emoji. Shout out to Guitar Emoji. Um, yeah, all these are all these are these these people. They've been they've been on the scene for a minute. You know what I'm saying? Dustin, like Arnetic, that I was talking about. Yeah. He used to be back there too back then performing also now he's like producer extraordinaire and all that so that's when okay that i guess like how many songs deep was that or um about was that like still fairly beginning five six songs deep so that's like your so and that that one went viral right uh semi like for back then i think where i got a I don't know, honestly. Like, it was Lewis and Clark, and then it was a remix to Young Jocks. It's going down. It's called Money Way. Okay, yeah, I remember then that. Then Nah too. Nah, I that and too. then Trapper's Delight. No, Nah Nah, you can't. No, Trapper's Delight. Yeah, Trapper's Delight. It was Trapper's my. Delight was the first one to go. It viral. changed my life. It cha Trapper's Delight changed my life. It was the fourth song I dropped, if I'm not mistaken. That was my fourth song. So you dropped Trapper's Delight before. You can't do me. You can't. You can't do me. Okay, and this was all. This was like 2018, right? Or 2017. 2018. 2018. It's 2018. Because okay, so I remember when them shits just started like flying on on Twitter. You just Ouch. started. You just started going. I don't know. You, I didn't even have an IG then, but you started going crazy on Twitter where all these songs. Twitter, started. yes. I used to be popping on Twitter. I mean, not that I fell off or nothing, but. Well, I know when I posted it, I looked down, I was like, what the fuck is going yeah, on? Yeah, you were like, Twitter like sent you like through the roof where it just went super viral. And back then it was, I mean, now that's, it's still kind of, it's not easy per se, but back then you can, you could go viral off Twitter and, and the next day you like. Way uh, easier than today. Yeah, like today, I think the only, the recent thing I've seen go viral, okay, like the, the F and F. Hard. Let's go. Hard. I, the first F part. E, e, fuck, nigga. Free. I mean, I ain't got So that should just drop when? Like, I, I just seen it drop, like, it's maybe been like, two, it's, three weeks ago? No, nah, not I've even. No, not even. It's been out probably, like, a week and a half now. A week and a half. And it literally just went, for whatever reason, just because it seems so cray, cray. natural, so organic. Hook. It went. That is a motherfucking hook. And organic is the word. And then S I N G L E again. I start hanging out the window with my wretched ass, ass prince. Let's go. That shit is that shit shit. Yeah, that's a, but that shit just went. I've been seeing, I already seen her getting hate, getting love, going viral for, you know what I'm saying, that's across the board. So, okay, you start going super viral. 
because I feel like that's when I started like, okay, you probably dropped them songs, I probably seen them, but when you start going viral, that's when, that's when it's like a wait, there's like some momentum here. I felt like I was gonna be Britney Spears. I was like, wow, I am different. <laughs> I swear to God. And so it's like, all right, I'm gonna get back and I'm gonna keep just dropping more, keep like. Yeah, well, I was addicted and I will say this to my management, I don't care if y'all put me in the grave for this. When Trapper's Delight dropped, they would not let me drop nothing. Oh, they were trying to like they told milk me, it? They, they told me, sit on it. They said, what you need to do right now is you need to record. And I highly regret it. I highly regret Why? it. I, I'm not saying that anyone did anything wrong, but when you have a record like that, I don't care. I, I don't know like because 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 dropping? I feel like that. That's why because I feel like that. I feel like I should have backdoored it with some more take money shit and backdoored it again and backdoored it again and showed them I'm that bitch. Shit on what for what? Why are we holding music? All right, who? So outside looking in, gonna it piss feels me like off. That's what you did, no, outside, I mean, inside looking now, you might feel like you sat on it, but I sat on I it. I felt like that shit just came. It came like back to back bangers. Like you just didn't didn't miss. You nah, know what, I'm saying? what it was is that I got a taste of that and I became hungry and I and I told you in the beginning of this interview, you get some and you want more and you want more and you want more. But the thing was, I had more records like that. Yeah. But me and somebody fell out and I had to toss my other records away. But that sound was there. And what should have happened is we should have squashed that shit out. Are y'all good now? We or? are good now. And we work together now, but we should have squashed that shit then and we should have made a meal and split it. That shit happens all the time. And it, it's sad, you know what I'm saying? People fall out when you could have, you know, seen like the grand scheme. And... I could name a few names. I won't do that. No, but. No, nah, go ahead. <laughs> don't toss, name. No, I'm not, not gonna toss any names out right, there. Don't. But I'm just letting you know that I will fuck you up. Okay, and I'm like. <laughs> all right, let's take another shot. I'm with it. I was about to take one, and then I was like, just chill. Nah, chill for what? You know what I'm saying? Chill for what? Chill for what? Look, this is the premiere episode. I keep forgetting I'm even on camera and shit. You know because we're natural. We out here having a great conversation, so. Uh, okay, basically. And then, and anyways, yeah, what, what else? So that's 2018. Now you're, now you're cracking. Now cracking. you're super viral. Um, you're, you start doing more shows you start getting booked okay i remember you were doing shows with like like little debbie and fucking, that was my first show that was your first that was show my ever? Very first okay show. and then you started doing like your own shit selling out your own shit and then in austin my first sellout was in austin you remember when we did la when i was i guess that, that was Whoa, probably aeronautics yeah i was, yeah, I was first from that. Aeronautics. you were they threw my very first ever tay day tay day at the oh uh, yeah i remember i was elephant I was like out of the country. Yeah, that awesome. sounds that sounds like, that sounds like a flex, but mm. yeah. But I seen that shit. But I seen that shit. But like on Twitter, obviously y'all were fucking going crazy. They brought you a cake. This was what's that like 2019, 2018? It was it was either it was in between 2018 and 2019. It was crazy. You know what? After that, let me tell y'all something. Motherfuckers be watching because. Niggas be watching it because like secretly. They don't necessarily. Secretly, uh, yeah. but after my very first Tay Day, I had about 15,000 followers. And you would be very fucking surprised at the amount of celebrities that hit me up and was like, you hard after aeronautics through Tay Day. And the reason why is they just wanted to make sure we was good, just in case. Just, wow. You know what I'm saying? So, sh all right, shout out to, shout out to aeronautics shout and shit. Out to aeronautics. They don't get enough love. They don't they get don't. enough. They be putting on for Dallas. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? And those are one of the few people who were around back then when I started, and I've seen their entire trajectory, you know what I'm saying? I remember, like, they would book me to host shit in, like, Fort Worth. It would be like... It be like 11 people there, and those 11 people are waiting to perform. You know what I'm saying? And now we just got off a tour with D Savage, like 700 people in each city and shit. You feel me? But the thing is, people need to understand it starts with those 11 people. No, definitely. That, that's just part of the grind, stick consistency, sticking to it, dedication, the whole nine. You know what I'm saying? And so, for sure, like, 
they stuck to their business module, they stuck to their art, their brand, their science, and they're where they are right now doing we doing national tours and all that shit, you know what I'm saying? So it's a, uh, some of this shit is really just simple as dedication, just not stopping really. You really have to put in 10,000 hours. You really have to put in and there's no shortcut. No, there's no, take the stairs. I say that shit all the time. Like, don't look towards the elevator, don't look towards the escalator, you know what I'm saying? Take the stairs. You're going, your calf muscle is going to be strong as fuck by the time you get up there. You're going you're gonna to have met like all the janitors. I used to say that, I used to say it's like the music business is like working out, except you don't get no abs. What you don't, did? like, like you put in all these hours and you're like, fuck, I'm tired. I'm working. It hurts. And there's nothing to show. You know what I'm saying? But, but there is, and you have to find it. And that's on the inside. And that sounds so corny, but that's so no, fucking I get, I get real, bro. Eventually, you're like living longer than expected because you've been working out this whole time. It's like, I'm working, I'm working, I'm working on, I don't see nothing, I don't see nothing, I don't see nothing. And then one day you're going to see it because you put in those hours. Nah, that that's like, yeah. that's, that's like the realest shit ever. You know what I'm saying? You just got to, <laughs> to me, that's, what, that's one thing I've learned. Just sticking, also, I also just don't care. Like, I don't. I'm not scared to fail. So this, I have no, I have no script right now, no cue points, nothing. You know what I'm saying? And I'm a, we gonna run this. I know it's gonna go crazy, and I'm a, learn from. Okay, oh man. However, I, I was talking in this part, or however the mic was placed here, however the camera, and and we're just gonna get better at it and keep doing it till it. The, in another two years, whoever's watching this right now, y'all witnessing history. Y'all gonna get to watch back and be like, history. "Damn, I remember that first episode with Tay Money. Look at now, you, you with, you with that part. Snoop, I'm just saying. No, that Snoop part. Dog. Yeah, Snoop Dogg. Segway. <laughs> A media train. Look that at me, like, <laughs> journalistic. <laughs> you did so, that. So <laughs> that kind of did, though. You know what I'm saying? All right. Uh, we can we can go to that right now or we can circle back are we still doing trajectory or is what's the like trajectory after tay day it was that the first okay after the first tay day really is it like when, rest is history or the rest is history after tay day so that first tay day like stamped you in you were like yo whoa i got I, fans of people that know words to my shit. like i can pull i can shut my own city down like i can bring a crowd like um I don't want to hear nothing else. I'm king. Hey, I'm queen. Hold up, sorry. What's all this yawning I pulled and up. shit? You I pulled up to, nah, I pulled up. Okay, listen. I pulled up to what the green. you on? Oh my gosh. I pulled up to the green elephant, um, and there was a line around the block. And I was so nervous. I didn't think anybody would be there. Why? I mean, I got knew a couple, I knew a few people would be there. Yeah. I thought it would be like a normal show, but it wasn't a normal show. It was a lit ass show. And my friend, her dad owned a car lot and he let us use a convertible. And we pulled up and I was just, yo, I just wish I could go back. <laughs> I'm serious. Yeah, all right. Speaking of Tay Day, right? <laughs> so some, I, I did, I missed the first Tay Day. I think I missed the, you just had another one, right? So sorry, yeah. So sorry. I made Tay Money cry. We go I'm not crazy crying. Right no, now. it was my yawn. No, it's Cab. <laughs> Look at you, emo. It's that time of the month. Is that some shit I can say? Victor, I need you. No, Am no, I no, running? No. Like, please hey. don't. Hold on one second. Tay Webb. Yeah, I got runny eyes. You got a brief okay. intermission. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, we can keep recording this. All right, welcome to Creators Don't Die TV. I am your host <laughs> of the most, Mecca Jackson, highly favored and blessed by the most. Tay Money, highly savored. Hey. Hey. Tay. Hey. Tay. Mecca, why you did that to me? Nah, you you did that. You know no, what I'm I was not crying. Just, by the way, you are, but it's okay. No, like, it's just like one we, eye. Like, can you wait? What's wrong with her? Like, I'm gonna beat him up. Oh, I'm trying no. to be like strong and shit. Like, like we is need it okay? this. <laughs> I'm strong. <laughs> She's trying to be a strong woman. I could like, beat the pussy up. Oh, <laughs> okay, no, stop. Okay, I'm ready. 
All right, so I was talking about Tay Day, right? I, I no, missed the first one. Let's something else. Hold up, let me let me okay, do okay, like okay, okay. Jeez. <laughs> so the first, I had my first bra thrown at me at Tay Day. I remember that. This was like I don't remember Girls which one at the, at the at the yeah, and but every time I so at Tay Day or period your show's period, it'd be like I'd say like eighty five percent baddies. It'd be like what's the other ten percent boys, you know what I'm saying? And the five percent. So ten percent, you know what I'm boys saying? Boys and, and then five percent boys with their girlfriends. Oh yeah, that's a good way to put it. Yeah, yeah. Y'all can fill in the the gap, but it's like the if you've never been, I don't even like. I'll be leaving go. like the, the whole week after. I'm like, bad bitch, I'm on your throat. Wow, oh, <laughs> bad bitch, you got my head. Like, that's what it starts ringing in your head for no reason. Like, I'm a oh, grown ass right. man. I'll be, be getting food out of the microwave. I whistled for a cab. And when, when he came, came here, here, I hopped in a bag to y'all, looked mm -hmm. in the camera. I'll be in the shower like, hey. yo, how do you know them all? I, from them stupid, I'm, I'm just playing. I'll be like, I be like jamming her and Boy. secretly, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Period. I know y'all gotta hide it. The boys gotta hide it. But boyfriends that support Tay Money's are keepers. If you Keeper. wanna stay together, Tay Money together. Keeper. <laughs> but I do, I wanna just hear them songs, all, but the crowd, the way the crowd reacts and stuff like that, it's like, it's different. So on a whole nother level, like I feel like, all right, for our generation, I don't know if this, is going to be a compliment or let me oh, see. boys. Mm. All right. What? I feel like you would be like the like maybe like the Fergie of this generation. Is oh, that I like, love that. That's a, such a compliment. I bet. I love that. Yeah, yeah. Cause I feel like it's like a it's like there's you in your own lane right now, you know what I'm saying? So there's nobody else in that lane. So the lane is mine. The lane is mine. Yeah, and you have like you have anthems and stuff. Like you like a you a huge like TikTok sensation. You're a huge you have like bangers after bangers. At, at these shows, it'd be like you'd be like 30 songs deep and they know like every motherfucking word. They're not That's tired. Money They're like fucking twerking the whole I'm like, your waist ain't broken yet? Like how much can you <laughs> twerk? Like <laughs> your waist ain't broken yet, no period. The Tay Money Army is forever. They are real fans. They, and I love them so much. And like sometimes they do be making me cry. I swear. Now you have a like a cult fan base. So a lot of people like outside looking in, they may not like realize that. You know what I'm saying? Cause if I if I didn't know you, if I didn't like oh hey, this this another thing, right? On a from like a hip hop, from a cultural perspective, I'm talking like people like like me and we listen to like like Pusha T and like down to like Reasonable Doubt and Illmatic and you go like crying again? It, yeah, it'll it's the okay. makeup. It'll be I'm okay, sorry. okay? Okay. It's all, all good. Just weep all Does you want. Does it look okay? Yeah. Of course. Okay, okay. You're Tay. <laughs> so back, what was I even saying? Okay, yeah. So you were saying. We listen to, I right, as like a quote unquote hip hop head or just like a, a hip hop purist and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Naturally, I would I wouldn't listen to your music, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Just being like dead ass, and it's a, of course it's probably like a lot and of people. And that's how that, female rappers get counted out. Cause it's a lot of people that rap becomes like a more rap is like a we look at it. It's like a sport, you know what I'm saying? So like our like Kendrick just dropped, and you're comparing his album to Donda to CLB. It's just not just listening to. No, we're not just listening to Kendrick's album for what it is. You have to like compare it to like, is he the best rapper right now or not? You know what I'm saying? It's like certain albums that drop, certain artists that drop where it's like just that competition in hip hop. Mm -hmm. And But at the same time, it's like a whole nother lane to where all that shit don't even matter. You know what I'm saying? Where it's like culturally, there's like this core culture, but then it's people like, I'll give you an example. There's like a, not comparing you at all. There's like a Flow Rider, for example. Flow Rider, he's probably sold like 20, 30, I looked at his, his stats one day. He has like 
hella songs I've never even heard. Five times platinum, six times platinum, but on a relevant scale, like back to Pusha T, Nas, these people would forever be more relevant in the culture than a flow rider, you know what I'm saying? So I still have to say, as far as like this hip hop, this culture thing, where do you, with you, I sense more of like cultural, like appreciation, like this is something you, you love, you grew up on, you like found your niche in, and you're doing your thing, you're not necessarily like, you have a love for it, but you're not necessarily like trying, you're not trying too hard or even trying hard at anything, you're just being yourself and shit. So where do you find your, I guess, how do you think you fit into the culture and the grand scheme or like right now or where you're trying to fit in eventually, you know what I'm saying? Or does this I shit like that, that even cross your mind? You know what I'm saying? Like winning like best female rapper Grammy, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Or win or being on a winning certain like um awards against certain like critical acclaims, you know what I'm saying? Does that like cross your mind? I think that everyone in life is looking for their place. Yeah. Like everyone. I know I have friends that have no idea what they want to do. And they're like, I don't know. I don't know. But but they want to know, correct? Yeah. Like no, you want to know like where am I going to end up? If you could if you could see yourself in 20 years, like let me ask you. If you could look at something and be like, I want to see myself in 20 years, push play. Would you push it? Would you push it? Oh. You got to pick one, two, three. No. That's a lie. <laughs> okay. Like, no, because I, I, I wouldn't go to like a, a sidekick or No, anything. no, no. I'm saying if somebody like on some Adam Sandler click type of movie, if someone handed you a thing and said, you want to see your life in 20 years, I'm going to show you five seconds. You have three seconds to decide. Personally, I'd be stop. No, personally, listen. I'd be too. Okay, okay, but I'd listen. be too scared too, just because I'd hate to see I, what I don't want to see I could and see feel that. like that's like I predicting. Could. Now, if I did see it and I'm like what I want to see, then you'd be like, you know, what I'm saying. But you're not gonna know. Go. But you're not gonna know. Exactly. But I'd rather not. Okay. This is this know. is what my point All was. Right, go ahead, this go is ahead. my point was. Everyone is looking for their place. Uh huh. And I feel like I have found my place. And it happens to be with the culture. I love the culture. It is 100% culture appreciation. And it really, really, really bothers me when someone thinks it's something else. I'm not even going to say it. No, I know, I know, I know. We all know. But the thing is, I just, I need, I don't, I don't, I don't need them to understand I don't want them to understand that I love what I'm doing and I love where I'm at and I'm blessed and I'm happy and if they cannot contribute to that then so be it but I'm gonna continue moving forward on my path because my I'm a very religious person and I have asked God God this is what I ask him every day can you just lead me where you want me to be yeah can you just guide me where you want me to be because what I want may not be what's best for me he shuts doors in my faces all the time. People let me down all the time, and I believe they'd be signs from him. But moral of the story is he has led me here, and you have to give me a piece of my pie because I work for it. So you're meant to be here. We're meant. Saying? This is meant. This is meant because... So I feel like some of that, I, it, it doesn't matter in a sense. It's like, a, okay, you know who you are. Mm -hmm. You know where you came from. Mm -hmm. You know how you got involved in... This culture, this, everything we just like, kind of like ran through this whole trajectory right now. You know what I'm saying? That's a real story. It's not a, you're not a, an industry plant per se. You know what I'm saying? But another reason why you shouldn't necessarily, okay, it's not like not necessarily pay attention to the, pe the people who may think otherwise. It's just because they just don't know. They don't and understand. And on face value, or it's not. like if you don't, you just, you just don't know, it, but you can look at it as they don't know yet. You know what I'm saying? I do look at it as that, but I will tell you that I am 100%, and this is for all three cameras that are here. Four. Five. There's four. Yeah, There's respect, five. Respect us. We're, we're yeah, down here. Hey, ah! on, okay, listen. Let me tell you something. Right this is for all five of you, okay? Yeah. 
What was I about to say? Hold on. Go ahead. The cultural appreciation and people that don't know yet. People but... that don't know yet, but what was it? it was so important. I hate ah, you, five please, cameras. Wait, please. hold on. I said, I'm going to tell you. Oh, I know what it was. I am a professional at posting and going. I don't go back and read shit. Y'all not finna upset me because y'all are bored at home and don't have nothing else to look at. You know what I'm saying? Y'all not finna upset me. So I don't pay attention to that shit. I am a professional at posting and going. Bitch, posting and going. I want all y'all to understand that shit, okay? But also, I mean, I feel like I majority of you, most of your comments, everything we love. Like, you get it does. love. It does. But, but that, sometimes I feel like it's like that. All right, this is another thing, like in, not necessarily even just celebrities, just in life, period. Like, you could get love from 100,000 people and you see that one negative and that shit will irk your, it, it doesn't even hold as, it's one comment. You can face that one negative against one positive, but that, Hundred thousand that one could go against the hundred thousand, and it'll irk the fuck out of you. Why they will, that one person? Uh, you're human. You're human. Exactly. You learn. But in the grand scheme, that one against the hundred thousand, that one might. It's more to do with them than even to do with you. And they semi like on some misery needs company. Energy is contagious. They get it. Of course, you by not responding. Yeah, they're not even gonna waste, probably not waste But this time is what again. people need to understand. When I do respond, I had the time and I felt like it. It's not that you just ate me the fuck up. It's that I had the time and you're not gonna play with me because I'm not the one, okay? But I will tell you this. <sighs> Why'd I lose it again? Hold on. It's coming. It's you're gonna have to put a little up. cut. Hold on, you have to put a little cut right here. Hold on. Cut? Okay. What, were you, shit. what were you saying? What was you saying? About the hundred thousand against the one. Yeah. Oh, it only takes one person to comment some bullshit, and another fifty thousand people that can't think for themselves is gonna say, Run yeah. That narrative. "Yeah." You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You you learn to get tougher skin. I am gonna tell you, I did not used to have tough skin. I so didn't. Some of them comments would get. But to now you, you could stand. And all that. I mean, of course, I was a human, and 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 this life was new to me. Now, did it it make me like depressed? No, I think that it could make some people depressed. Did it make me want to harm myself? No, but I think it does make people want to harm themselves, and that's the problem with y'all. Y'all are ugly as fuck, and I'll beat y'all ass for doing it to other people. I uh, she's you probably talking to me like right? because I I do troll and shit. I be on I be trolling I'm, sometimes, I'm but I'm them. funny. No, but it, you. There's certain things you can't say because you're like, you're in the industry now. You know what I'm saying? I know, I and mean, I want to say my, it. I talk my <laughs> shit on, I, like on Twitter, I don't go on back and forth with a lot of, a lot of legends and shit. Or just, I speak my mind on Twitter. Sometimes they catch a wind of it and they decide to respond, which is like the wrong thing to do. And I'm not like I'm tagging them in their comments. Sometimes They're searching just, their name. Yeah, I you know. know what I'm saying? And then we end up going back, but I'm like, you're not going to win this battle. Like, I don't even search my I'm name. A, I'm a Twitter nigga. Pause. Why not pause that? That's not a pause. Yeah, I'm just, but you're you don't you shouldn't even respond to me because nobody's gonna be on your side at this point. So, so then why'd you do it? No, because I'm just speaking. All right, I'll give you. I'm a just wondering. I'll give you a prime example, right? One example was I had I had tweeted something as simple as all right. This goes both ways too. I tweeted one time. I was like, y'all niggas used to listen to riff rap. I ain't forget. Okay, so you're a comedian. I get it. Nah, just something that simple, right? Now, of course, it was it was it started going viral. It was people like, like, oh yeah, yeah, they used to listen to riff rap. I it was trash, and then there was other people on the other side like, what riff rap go hard? You ain't listen to this. Tell me this ain't go hard. You know what I'm saying? Riff rap hard. By by all means, let I'm saying it's like half empty, half full. Each his own. You know what I'm saying? I didn't listen to Riff Rap. I'm not necessarily, I I didn't think he went hard, but that's just, that's just. You don't, don't even, think Riff Rap went hard? I, I never thought he went. You he was, never he was a thought. Of himself. So yeah, I never thought he went, he went hard. But what I'm saying is, but if you do though, <laughs> if, you, if you thought he went hard, Sometimes it's like, there's nothing to you, but... Justice for Riff Rap. Yo, you're crazy. Then you're crazy. 
Yes. If you think he went hard, then, then you can hold on to that. You know what I'm saying? I'll beat you up in that mean coat. Listen. I fight. Look, I, you, Listen, oh, to each its own. We're going to agree to disagree about Riff Raff. I will tell you, though, and I don't care if Riff Raff see it, I think he sound like Big Tuck. No, he, all right, so he sounds like Big Tuck. He sounds like a lot of Texas artists, you know what I'm saying? Dallas and Houston. Bro, and shit. that is one man that is swaggy as hell. Uncle mm. Blueberry yeah. Murray Muffin Dumpin', <laughs> what he said? He just, uh, but the point is, all right, so he went ahead and responded to it, right? Yeah. He responded to it, but made it about his, whatever, his neon colored fucking he Lambo you, he has and shit. He, he probably like, said, he was trying to like shit on me and shit. You turquoise tripping. Nah, he was like, <laughs> I bet you ain't got no neon. And this nigga was typing like a, 13 year old oh, up and down, Chinese up and girl down. and shit. Like, I'm like, what is Bro, it? you're hilarious. <laughs> so, you're anyway, hilarious. so I'm like, bro, you know, what is, like, your whole goofball right now? Like, what are you doing? Like, you shouldn't even respond it. Cause anyway, he started, cause of course now you respond to me, then listen, I gotta respond back. Listen, there is a song with Riff Rap and Big Tuck called De Chicas. De Chicas, De Chicas. That sound hard to you? Bro, it's hard. <laughs> Hey, I will drop this motherfucking mic. <laughs> hey, look, look, I get, I get it though. Like riff rap. Hey, I'm not, like, no, I'm playing. I'm playing. I'm playing. I'm playing. You're a shit you at. I'm playing. Okay. Right, look, look, I'm I, like, I respect him. Come on, let's go to the next one. I respect riff rap. I just want to say that I respect him. I respect his grind, his hustle. Not every. I guess the main point was not everything's for everybody. You know what I'm saying? That is like, a good point. I respect You're his so grind. Sweet. I respect his hustle. Like if y'all come from Mecca, I'll beat y'all up. What? You come <laughs> for who? Like this? Is, you know what I'm saying? This is the Tay Money Army Lieutenant right now. You know what I'm saying? <coughs> I'm sorry. She got goons, by the way. Goons. So. All I gotta do is blink and look pretty. Respect it. You know what I'm saying? But all right, I don't even remember the okay. real point. With yeah, I'm saying me that. neither. But, oh yeah, with, with Twitter and everything, it's just like he didn't even have to respond. He responded. We went back and forth for the longest. It was it was funny. We were both we were both being comedic, but yeah, he took that L and shit. You know what I'm saying? Because you, you he not, had to hold that. Yeah, you're not he like funnier than me, Riff Raff, and you're the celebrity. I'm not so. It's just not going to work out for you. And that's just one example. That happens, like, every now and then. But the point is, I shouldn't even, I don't even matter in his world. You know what I'm saying? On everything, he has every right to, like, shit on me. Like, I'm here, I'm making comments, and he doesn't know who I am. I'm here doing, why is he on my mind? You know what I'm saying? So I say all that to say, yeah, motherfucker, that one negative comment, you don't even have to... Uh it's maybe hard. maybe he he woke up he was doing dealing with something and he said not today Mecca Jackson. Yeah, but he lost that one. He should it should have been today. Like he should <laughs> he should have kept it going. You know what I'm saying? You're very funny. Because at the end of the day, okay, on some on some culture shit, it is yeah like certain <laughs> certain things move the needle and certain things don't. You know what I'm saying? This man is crazy. Why am I, I crazy? No, that's good crazy. You're good crazy. You want to take another shot? No, yeah. You tapping out? Maybe. Uh, you think you cry too much? <laughs> Come on, one more. All right, you want to take a shot of something else? No, we don't mix. We can't mix this. I'm going to take a half shot. Yeah, and by then, Jersey. you can, but after this, after this. This your last one? This is my last shot. But you should be able to ask me anything you want and get a great I'm, answer. I'm We're going viral. Clickbait, hey. baby. Whatever y'all want, ask so, me. Ask your, me. Uh, after the shot. I got, I got you right now. Oh, nah, watch, beat watch, the move. Watch, watch where this is about to go. I'm just trying to eat some chicken. No, but have you heard that TikTok? <laughs> yeah, come on. Hey, shout out to motherfucking JoJo, man. You can, you can interrupt this whole shit bag. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> this is on that TV. We do what we want. Jo G. Jo G. Jo G. Hey, she stays strapped with the candy. Oh, you all need the to give time. me some? Like, You're done. <laughs> and look, okay, okay. shout out to JoJo. Shout out to Johnny B, the motherfucking shooter. Johnny B. Shout out to Raylan Shooter. Shout out to Biz. Oh, my God. Here. You acting like, like you in. Ninth grade in your first bottle of Four Loco. Yo, first it can was of Four Loco. Mike yeah. Hard Lemonade, bro. Oh my okay, God. ready? One, two, three. Oh, wait, wait I didn't even take my shot, right? It fell by you. Your cup fell by you. It's good. All right, come on. Um, 
I keep forgetting, look, we're on camera. This is creatives on that TV. I'm supposed to be doing like some professional like media creatives on that. Welcome to Crazy. He's Don't taking a full TV. ass like, shot. I'm a grown man. Like, and I got a flight to Atlanta at 7 a.m. tomorrow morning. But you better stop. I'm, this I'm is make, our last I'm one. A grown you want one, Amon? You want a shot? No, this is yours. Come on. What are you talking about? Come here. Sharon is Karen. There you go. Go crazy, man. I love you, baby. My mom and me, 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 me. Don't what, what was that? Do it. Do it. <laughs> We're gonna delete that. No, we're not. No cuts. <laughs> what am I, a puppy? I'm gonna fucking. I'm a whole uh, All right. Oh my god. What's your favorite position? What? <laughs> I mean, like in the food chain, duh. Like, what, what, what's wrong? You got wrong a napkin? Please, <laughs> do you have a napkin? <laughs> you can ask her anything. My right? favorite position is, uh, I want to rock. I want to rock. I want to rock. I want to rock. Have you heard that song? I want to rock. I want to rock. I want to ride. I want to ride. It's a riding. Ride. By Jocelyn. No, do it like this mob beat. That one? No. I want to ride. I want to ride. No. Okay. So ride on top of your favorite food? Yeah. That's crazy. That's crazy. You said ask anything, what's wrong with you? <laughs> Casamigos! <laughs> hey, this episode is sponsored by... <laughs> I don't know what happened right here. So... <laughs> Thank you so much, you're so nice. <laughs> We're drunk. <laughs> <laughs> what's wrong with you? <laughs> Please take a shot so you can catch up. I'm on, play juggle juggle with it, come on. You doing the shots? Oh yeah. I I would I would get deeper in that, but I'm gonna let, I'm gonna let that slide. Please. You know what I'm saying? Wow, why are you saying it like that? Oh. I mean, you be talking all that shit in your records. You I'm like, a, like, don't get me started. I'll start blushing so hard. You just uh, that's just the character of yourself, you know, like that in real life. Oh no, it's just that only one person gets to see that. Who? Oh, you, Mar you got a boo? No. My bad. When I get a boo, he'll see it. He'll see the. Uh, I might have. No, no way. He say, "Wilma." I. I'm <laughs> keeping. <laughs> 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 I'm, <laughs> you have to cut some of it. Look, she, we good. We get content. Whatever, whatever we need to cut out, we can she, do that. I want you to zoom in on my face, and while I do this, shit. <laughs> Okay. You got your close up right there. Are you ready? Is <gasps> she? <laughs> we ain't cutting, cutting nothing, you know what I'm saying? We finna t title yeah. this Pay Money Talks Game Her Ass Ache. Go viral. Yeah. I don't like those parts. Do you even hear what I said? Pay Money What? Oh, uh, never mind. We gone. Are we gone? <laughs> Just agree. Just be like, yeah. for sure. Yep. For sure. Yup, we, we out of there. We out of there, baby. You know what I'm saying? Y'all seen her agree to it and shit. You know what you agreed to? You tricked me. Whatever it was. Nah, you heard you heard loud and clear. All right, we're gonna keep us pushing. So, 2022. Uh huh. This is what I want to talk about earlier. You was with motherfucking Snoop Doggy Dog. Snoop Doggy. No. How, all right, how did that come together? How did that come to, all right, by the way, look, look, look. So, all this seems casual right now, of course, post-production, when I say you a Snoop, Snoop Dogg, is gonna have your concert footage right here. Like, bam, that's a clip concert footage. Bam, that's a picture right there. Say bam. Bam. It's another picture right there. Bam. 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 Zoom in on me. Zoom in, bam. bam. You got another bam. picture of Snoop? Bam. All right, let's get to some, look, look. All right, so I ain't smoked in three years, right? I don't even drink like that no more. I'm not smoking till I smoke with Snoop or till I, I win a some. Grammy or till I win an Oscar. I could possibly maybe arrange the Snoop thing. I just need a little bit longer and I'll bring him to Dallas. 
No, when they take you, like, you know, I'm not, have I, have I ever asked you for anything? No, of course not. Except so, okay, so I'm going to give you the rundown on Snoop. How did all that happen? Like, all right, so I seen that shit where he was like, and what was I understood like? the assignment. And, what and was I'm like, like, what the? Like, she, I, I posted that on like the, on like the Creators Don't Die page and everything. Like, everybody Thank went you. crazy. They showing that. you hella love and shit. It got like, I mean, it's nothing, but it was like, like 700 likes or some shit. That's good, like, yeah. that's good. But they, they showing, yeah, like this, the city, fuck, I was like, what the? So basically- That's Snoop Dogg, you feel me? Snoop Dogg has started DJing a little bit. No, nah, he been DJing for a minute. Yeah. Yeah. And um, he always runs asthma pump. He loves asthma pump. He's a fan, like assignment too. Like I've, yes, besides, I've seen him sing that shit some, some other time. He, um, he, someone sent me a video of him. Turns up singing asthma pump and I posted it and he DM me and he said, I want to work with you. And I thought, who is on his page? <laughs> and I wrote back and I was like, oh my gosh, please. And he said, I understand the assignment. And I said, and I drop it like it's hot. And then, um, I, I'm not, I don't know if he said anything to that, LOL. Maybe he liked it. I don't know. But, he kept in call. He 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 asked me for my number, and he Facetimed me while I was in New York City on tour. I'm in New York City shopping, at just shopping store after store. And he Facetimed me, and he was in. Uh, he had a scarf on his head. Him so cute, and he stayed with that granny. That granny. Yeah. Um, so and he was just talking hey, to me, hey, and he's like, "Yo." He was like, I'm not gonna lie, I've been rocking with you for a year. I couldn't believe that. I couldn't believe that. I heard his voice and to see him, it just was so surreal that I didn't really, you know, my friends around me were like, and I was just like. You keeping your composure and shit? I was, but it's because I really wasn't realizing what, what the fuck was happening. Like, I wasn't processing You were like trying it. to play it cool or it just wasn't clicking until after Both. you got off the phone and shit? Both. I was trying to play it cool. Um, anyways, we get off the phone. He posted he was going to be in Miami and I was also going to be in Miami because I also have a house there. And slight flex, right? Slight flex, but yeah. it's not a house, it's an apartment, but whatever. <laughs> hey. Um, I call everything home and house, but um he said, Hey, I fuck with you so much, I wanna bring you out on my set. And that shit was crazy. Like, why? Like, why? He tells me, bro, he pulled up at 3 a.m. in Miami. I flew into Miami that morning because I got fresh off a tour. I had my last date in Houston the night before, so I flew in real early. They tell me 310, be there at 310. I'm there at 310, fully face beat, almost asleep. Like the, like. That's Snoop, like when bro, he, he calls, what? In, bro, I came alive. Bro, I've never seen paparazzi like that in my life. That's Snoop, like, that's fucking. I know, and everything was like, click, 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 click. They were like, smoke weed every day. People yelling, it's crazy. Snoop, 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 No, Snoop. some shit, we had this conversation the other day. I think he might be the, he's the most famous, like, he's, okay. Of course, like, no. Drake and Kanye, the nah, most he's current a, he's famous, a, no, but. No. Luke worldwide, worldwide, it's history. people in villages in China and villages in Cambodia in history for, this is, they've known him for, it's like grandparents who Legendary. don't know who, Legendary. who may not know who Drake and Kendrick are, but they know Snoop Dogg. He's, he just has that, that face. He's an icon. He is everywhere. He's the yeah. most famous on earth, like most famous rap star on earth. I'd say that, like. He was the most kind, most gentle, most humble, most respectful human. And he's I, always been himself. This, I was look, terrified. Look, I'm like I, I know him and shit. What's wrong with me? <laughs> I, I was terrified. They, they sent me his mix. 
I had his whole mix. I got to listen to everything before he went on. I knew what song he was opening to. I knew what song he was closing with, and I knew when I was coming on. That is love right there. And I had the whole mix, and the I went into Club 11, and the stage was a circle, and it moved up and down. And the security was no joke. Oh, they was top motherfucking flight. They looked at me, they said, tell me when you're going. And the Akon and Snoop Dogg song came on. I wanna put you. And I knew I, Asthma Pump was the next song and I tapped ah, the security shit. guard. I tapped the security guard and they lifted me up and they put me on the platform. And it went, it, it like was like white and like ringing. Like, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, where you kind of just go what? out. I was there and there was like, some bitches that knew my shit. It was just crazy. Yeah, that crazy. yeah, you see shit like that. It's like I mean, of course there's goals, but then I'm I'm as you're explaining that shit right now. I'm like enjoying it by care. Yo, you, he, you know what I'm after my two songs because I performed Asthma Pump and Assignment, I get off the stage. After he he performed three more songs, he gets off the stage and in front of everyone, he turns and he hugs me. Now, I've seen a picture like I've seen. He does, picture, and he I've hugs me, and, he's, and and he was so nice. He said, "Come on." Went out to the sprinter, and I smoked with him. And I said, "What is this?" I was like, "What is this?" And he's like, "It's a backwood. You don't smoke them." I was like, "Bro, I smoke whatever, okay?" <laughs> no, but it, it was because of the way he had it rolled. I had never seen a backwood roll like that. How do you have it rolled? Like in Texas, they roll them like this and like short and fat. Like fucking like but his quarters shit, in a backwood and shit. His like, shit looked like a like a real thick swish of sweet, but a backwood. It was long and it was like, um, look like an ex extendo. It like, no, it was like um, yeah, it was I'm a great weed. weed <laughs> I could not believe I was smoking. I was trying to inhale as much as I could. I was like, <laughs> no, that's good. look. Like I told you, I ain't smoking three. If I. If Snoop passes me a blunt, nigga, I'm going all out. Like, I don't no. care if I pass out, if I, like, and we just changed too, like, since I've been out of the game, so. Bro, Snoop is a legend. I love him, and. That's Snoop Dogg, like, that's, that's like, it don't get more, I mean, there's, of course, again, there's Jay-Z's, there's Kanye's, there's Drake's, but to me, Snoop, he's like the coolest human being on the planet, like, from, and he's, he just stayed the same, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, so I'm telling how you. many people you heard, why would you even have beef with Snoop? Like, what is he, you if know what I'm saying? you have beef with Snoop, There's something Snoop, wrong with you. Like, you it's have clearly, beef with me. You got beef with me too. You yeah. got problems, you know what I'm saying? Snoop, I, I, I kill a motherfucker for Snoop. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just playing. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me see who else. So, you got songs with the baby. you got songs with Sweetie. You got Flo Millie, Saucy Santana, Flo Key Glock, Mulatto, Lotto, oh, Big Lotto. Uh, God, I heard you can talk. What? You talk a lot of shit, but let me see if you can walk. Hey, let me see you walk. Hey, walk. Hey, I got a song with Made in Tokyo. Go ahead, keep uh, name dropping. Yeah, I am. Let me see. I forgot. I got a song with Rob49. It's unreleased. Yeah, you outside. I can see your ass outside. Let me so see. So who one. who do you? Uh, I guess who. Who's who are you like your dream collabs like? If Doja you, Cat. Doja Cat. Nicki Minaj, Cardi B, Koi Ray, Young Blue, Cowboy. Cowboy, Young Blue. Those are random. I mean, those they're talented, but compared to Doughboy. all the. Doughboy. I'm gonna be working with Doughboy soon, so that's good. Speak it. Why, um, yeah, why Cowboy and Doughboy? I just really fuck with their music. Like, Doughboy be getting me lit. Like, Doughboy be getting me turned up. Nah, he up. hard, he, he hard. He be getting me like, turned up. And then Cowboy, I really like his music. Like, I really enjoy his music. And even though we probably don't go together, I would like to hear it. Y'all can make some shit happen. But I mean, you see how, like, those are different ends of Young the Blue spectrum. Is hard. You just Whenever went from Young Blue, Doja Cat to Doughboy. I would like a song with, um, I don't know. Who wants a song with me? That should be the question. 
Oh, facts. No, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> nah, facts. Sometimes I be so humble so and it's like, gotta, like, oh, fuck you. No, I'm playing. Snoop said he want to work with you, so I don't oh, know what we're going to do that. That's Yeah, understood. like, what are we, understood what are we. Understood the assignment. What are you weighing on? Like, 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 please. I feel like. You don't got no chicken here. I actually wanted food. What did you say? I know, but I didn't know it would be this white. I was yeah, like, yo. I, you just want to Casamigos and you didn't even drink the orange juice. You better. I'm taking it with me. Hey, that was her, that was her rider, head ass. <laughs> Casamigos and. Victor, and, I can't handle more than that. And orange juice. You just had oh. half a bottle without chasing. Yeah, here, pass it. I'll, I'll, get, I'll get another shot. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm an adult. You know what I'm saying? We ain't even drank that much. You so once again, drunk? this is this is Craters Don't Die TV. I don't know how this works, but we gonna make it work. You know what I'm saying? And we gonna keep giving y'all super I'll beat y'all ass. exclusives. We gonna keep giving y'all dope conversations. Um, celebrities, cool people, motherfucking people you need to know. Of course, not everybody, like I said, is gonna be as famous as Tame Money, but. I'm gonna make sure y'all have a lot of great conversations. We're gonna talk about a lot of I things going to on use... in Dallas, outside Dallas. I'm sorry What's to saying? interrupt. I'm sorry to interrupt. No, I want y'all to use my really cute clips. Like, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, shout, shout out to This episode is sponsored by Casamigos. <laughs> hey, I have some country music coming. How okay. Like hey, and it's called. Cause we going tequila. Call me Miss Casamigas. Mm-hmm. I'm in the new kind of like really like, my rounds be blinging. That doesn't sound country. Bad well, you and readers. I can't talk, I'm drunk. That sounds trap. Okay. I'm playing. Alright. Earlier Wait. today, I was in motherfucking Camp, Texas, right? Remember I texted you? Mm-hmm. So my license has been suspended for however long. Somebody Whoever, somebody had my license in like 2014 in Kemp, Texas. They done ran some tickets up. Somebody stole my license, bro, and- And was using your shit? Yeah, and but so- what? And they would not let me, so I've tried to see prosecutors out there. I tried to tell them, pull up dash cam footage, the whole nine, but long story short, I went out there <laughs> and I just had to plead guilty to it. Oh so my I could God. My unsuspended, even, so whoever you are, whoever you are, just know, Karma. I don't even It's real. That you, but that and it don't got real. no lick back, and we gonna get the lick back if they don't, okay? All right, speaking of karma, <laughs> I don't even wanna talk about this right now. So, Jesus calling daily, right? That's like this. All right, so I started, I follow that page because of you. I told you that, right? It's so nice. And I'll be like, I love you, Jesus. I'll be getting on that. To see like the daily daily readings every single day mm -hmm. and sometimes in my line that should be so spot on to whatever's going on in your life so spot on he is always looking and listening and ready to teach you something no i, I told him because so it's jesus calling dot daily i think that's what the ig is okay right? so the, there's a book it's a book actually yeah you told me about that it's called jesus calling you get it anywhere like target barnes and noble such and such and it is a daily devotional that really, I feel like, saved my life. And so, cheers to Jesus calling. Um, they oh, also yeah. have an Instagram, and they post in, in English and Spanish every day. Um, and it's easier to have than the book. I still have the book, but I don't open it now that I have the Instagram. And yeah, that IG is, like, super clutch. Because you, if you're following it, you, like... It's just, I mean, with algorithms and stuff, you like it a couple of times, you see it on your timeline every mm -hmm. day. And it just, so it came through at a point where, okay, with, with Creators Don't Die, I ain't even talked about the warehouse this whole time. So with Creators Don't Die, the establishment, the, the warehouse, shout out to everybody that comes through every weekend, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna see y'all, I'm gonna be out this weekend, but y'all make sure you turn up, you know what I'm saying? That's turned into its own entity, right? But I was going through a lot with the city. Um, of Dallas, they were trying to, they were trying to shut us down. Cause that's, okay, just like this, how I just hopped into Creators Don't Die TV without, not necessarily, I know how to, I know what I want to do as far as media wise, but as far as like the whole structure of it, 
I'm not gonna follow any rules. I'm gonna do it my own way. Period. So that that's a gift and a curse on how I do things sometimes. So with that, I kind of just hopped in. Just we just got the building and just thought we could just throw, start throwing events. You know what I'm saying? They have to learn the hard way. Like you got to go through. You got to get certain permits. Permits, you do this, licensing, the thing, regulations. So the city was trying to like shut us down for the longest. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? We had issues with fire marshals, with building code, city code. Everybody and I had to do my first year of politicking and just getting to spend. We spent like over 10 racks trying to get everything in order, exits, building new restrooms, the whole nine. But long story short, during this period, we were in limbo. I didn't know if it was going to get shut down or keep going. Then I think you had like posted it on your story one night that, okay, not really vividly actually, it was, um, it was Roman's birthday party. Remember with like 211 Irving? You don't remember? Yes, I do. No, you don't. Yes, you I don't. do. Come on. And Kyle was DJing. Huh? Oh. <laughs> and there was a dog there, an English bulldog at the end, and I had on a purple bralette <laughs> and skinny Levi jeans. Don't do me. All right. Hey, shout, shout out to motherfucking Roman. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Kyle. You're supposed to be here right now. You know what I'm saying? But Kyle couldn't make it. Kyle got that cannon, can't. duh. And Roman, shout out to Daily Ooze. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to, I just remember this. Shout out to motherfucking Emsaw, Iris, Devi, all y'all doing your thing. Keep doing your thing. But anyway, you have posted it and you have posted this, um, some from their page, and it was just so super. It was everything I was going through at that point. You know what I'm saying? On Jesus Calling. Yes. Like every, it was a lot that had happened that, so, okay. Awesome. I, I do, I get like premonitions like every day. You know I what I'm saying? Too. Certain things where it's just like too much for coincidence. Like how the, all right, yeah. And I just take whatever, like a sign out of it, or I just know, okay, something's about to pan out from this. So that's just how that happened. I started, literally everything I was going through that day was on that one page and everything that was about to happen was on that one. So I followed it and then every day I'll keep going to it. And I kept going to it for like, I don't even know, a couple weeks every day. And then that's when I had like, I texted you about like, yeah. yeah, like this thing is on point. You know what I'm saying? I, it's like on some, what are the odds, but I guess the main point out I, why I initially brought this up was religion. What are your thoughts on religion? What do you identify as? What do you, um, yeah, and I'm gonna just leave that as a ballpark question. I am religious and I'm a Christian, mm -hmm. um, but I believe and people are gonna take this how they take this and I don't really care, but- We're not worried about people. I, okay, 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 I'm just saying. Um, I think that there are good Christians and I think there are bad Christians. I think that there are bad, good yeah. humans and there are bad humans. Um, but I know that at some points I had nothing to look to and nothing to look forward to. And, the, and, and I just had no answers in he gave them to me. And when I say he, I mean, God gave them to me. Jesus gave them to me. Um, I just found that the more I gave myself to him, that the better my life got. And that's not why I did it. That's not why I do it. Um, but it genuinely gives me peace. Like the peace that God and Jesus can bring you like all this shit doesn't even matter. None of this shit matters. Does that make sense? No, it makes perfect sense. Cause at the end of the day, it's like, you know, I guess it's like faith versus fate. And a lot of times you, um, sometimes it's about the intention, you know what I'm saying? Regardless of, of like the actual details and the stipulations and the facts, it's just like the, the intention. So. If you believe in a a higher power, and that's that's what your go-to is to do to to do better, be a better person, mm -hmm. and that's your guide spiritually, then you can speak any. You spoke your own I agree with that. success I agree to existence. With you know what I'm saying? So I feel like, um, yeah, like everybody. Uh, everyone should believe in something, and I don't care what it is. <clears throat> 
or who it is, as long as you believe. And as long as it's you making going. you to be a better person, person. a better you. Yeah, that's uh -huh. all. That's all that matters. I get a lot of um, I get a lot of DMs, and most of them are girls, and they are asking, "How do you deal with heartbreak? How do you get over them? How do you move on? How can I be okay?" And my question is to pray. I mean, I mean, my answer is to pray. My answer is that you need to talk to God because that's what you need to do. You need to talk to somebody or something. You need to let it out. Because you keep it in, you will only get worse, you know? No, nah, that's facts. Like, this uh, this whole thing... Okay, also, it's a lot we don't know, like, for sure. But it's a lot, like, we feel. It's a lot we do know. And sometimes it's like... Um, there's, a, there's a lot of power in the, in the unknown, you know? Mm -hmm. And there is... Things like law of attraction, there's, there is vibrations. You can tap into whatever vibrations you want, you know? Like we talked about earlier, like dedication, consistency, and stuff like that, affirmations. Some of that is also like tapping into, it comes from a, you gotta be like, like psycho in a good way, like believing in believing in a in this entity you can't see you can't feel you can't hear you know but you just you know it's guided you this whole time it's got you here you you just know you can't fully okay if i explain to you how much peace god has brought to you, you can't really explain how it's just you just that's something you know that's something personal to you mm -hmm. in your life and a lot of people have these testimonies where it's like certain things you, and it might be things you might be praying for a hundred thousand dollars and it might just not be the time for you to get a hundred because you're going to get that hundred thousand dollars and blow it on some useless thing, you know? So, cause you didn't get that hundred thousand dollars doesn't mean, doesn't mean um, it wasn't real. Exactly, yes. you know, and I feel like everything, this whole universe is like, it's super cosmic. It's, we are super like interconnected, but it's like um, a lot of division sometimes, gift and the curse, we're same with religion. Like a lot of, like you said, good Christians, bad Christians, good humans, bad humans, a lot of the division, whether it be race, whether it be, whether it be like ideologies, beliefs and all that, a lot of it also unfortunately did come from religion. And it's like, but now it's like 2022, we have the internet, you have, we have access to so much information and it's like, um, we can understand better, you know, and we can appreciate, I guess, like differences so long as we're all we're all trying to be better people and do better and like help each other out and all that good stuff you know what i'm saying so it's like time times have changed and being a like if you're if you're a christian it doesn't necessarily mean what it used to mean you know what i'm saying like at one point yeah it's like being a christian at one point man yeah you had to as a woman you had to cover your hair as a as a woman, you, you had to be married a virgin. As a woman, you, you know what I'm saying? Right. Human influence gets like tossed in there somehow, some way. Or same with like being a Muslim and, and all that. But at the end of the day, you're still, it's still like one God. And I feel like on a whole nother note, sometimes like the industry is like, I don't want to say it anti anti that or like against some illuminati shit and all that but it's like <laughs> like the like, the world is just so many like distractions you know what i'm saying from this this thing this this entity this oneness and it's so much division so as someone with power, we got people, we got power of the people, we got influence. It's like, what do you do to 
I guess, change that, stir people in the right way, knowing these, the powers that be, quote unquote, you know what I'm saying? I think that in order to change the world, or that's basically what you're, that was you're saying? In, in I the have grand no scheme. idea what you just asked. <laughs> no, I, 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 did, I did get on, um, of course, hey, shout, shout out to Casamigo, shout out to Moet. Okay, you know let me saying? tell you something. I think that what we should tell these people yeah. is that they should just be good, decent people because it's not hard. And like with everything going on in the world, and it's a tragedy to see so many things and it's like having a voice people want me to use it for the better good but they don't they're not fucking changing no one's fucking changing like you know what i'm saying like y'all are out here doing the worst crimes i've ever heard of like what am i supposed to do like yes it's r.i.p and yes it's it but it's like bro like can we stop yeah. can we stop you know what i'm saying in order to be the in order to change the world we have to be the change, and that starts with being a good person. So, can you please just be a decent human being? Do good. It's and so easy, don't bro. Do bad. It's so easy, and the anger spurts that these people have is ridiculous. It comes from shit like road rage. It comes from shit happening at Walmart, and it comes from people's skin color, and that shit pisses me off because that should have never been a thing. It should it should never be a thing. It shouldn't be a thing, and I fucking hate all of I hate everybody that has anything to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying. And no. my words may not be the best word selection, but be a good human and quit being ugly and quit being racist and quit being sexist and quit being homophobic and quit being fucking everything that's ugly bro like we just gotta get back to love like i don't know where we where all that guy we it just got lost along the line somewhere and it's just so much is the i feel like i i look at it like seeds of evil it's like this all this hate this envy and jealousy this it's you know okay. Like it's okay to show love. It's okay to be love, and it's okay to be. That's soft. natural. It's like, okay to be. So- is, I love. Love I is love. supernatural. That's what comes natural to us. Like hate, I feel like you gotta learn that. You know. Yeah, you do. Like um, a baby, as a, as a baby, you automatically be, like just love your mom, love your dad. You but know. But maybe they never got love. Maybe they never got love, so they're like, "Fuck it." That's what I'm saying. You have to be the change. So if you never got love, let's be the love. But but it's not hard like when you see somebody that's struggling do you have compassion for them you of have course, sympathy of yes course. you know what i'm saying it's like it's not hard it's in us to be loved so it's okay to be soft it's okay to not be hard and it's okay to be vulnerable and people need to understand that shit because every boy i've ever known has been soft and vulnerable okay but do no, they let people know that no Fuck y'all, okay? Nah, <laughs> I, I feel like, all right, certain things, as a human being, that's these are natural, like, if somebody, if somebody dies, somebody's sick, these are like, I don't, you could be the hardest criminal, you have compassion, you know what I'm saying? You could be a killer, and if somebody's sick- you still gonna still, love. Cause these are like natural emotions. Now, mm-hmm. certain things, of course, by all means, like certain people are like byproducts of their environment. Like, it's a, I mean, this is a whole nother topic, but as far as you, you can't help what environment you're born into or who your parents were, how you were born and raised. Like you said, some people were born, may have been born into hate, not born into love and all that. And then that affects how you, what you grow up to be and everything. But in the grand scheme, as humans, these are like innate, like supernatural emotions that we all possess. So I feel like there's also a, like that switch to where it's, it's some people watching this right now, if you made it this far, who are like, damn, why, why I've been hating on, why I've been hating on yada, yada, yada when I should. Look, it's okay to hate on people. It's not. It's not okay to hate on people, but it is okay to hate on people because that it's means okay that. It's okay to hate. It's okay to hate. Hate is necessary. No. Listen, let me tell you why. I'm contradicting myself, but I'm yeah. gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you why. I'm gonna tell you why. 
<laughs> I'm gonna tell like, you why. Whoa, we just we just spent ten minutes on the We've been, we listen, got, we are, we're yeah, over we got there. Look, we're look, over look, there at the point. We're I'm done. Point. This is, look, this is our last thing we're gonna talk about. <laughs> All right, we're okay, almost listen. there. Almost listen. there. No, we're there. Okay, listen. <laughs> at the point. Like, listen. And you love, like took it back. Like, listen. <laughs> it's okay to hate. Like, you know, like, <laughs> we're gonna run on a positive note. <laughs> listen, like, <laughs> love and compassion is needed. Okay, and sympathy and all of that stuff is needed very much. Mm-hmm. But you said it's human to feel love, mm -hmm. right? And it's human to have like like feelings of anger and mm -hmm. no, no, okay, let's be done. I'm uh, tired. Right, go, go, go where you were going though. All right, all right, so yes, it is human to feel, all right. If, it's if, human to feel every feeling and every feeling that you feel is valid. Okay, because, I, I because go say it's not. what if I break your heart, okay? Mm -hmm. And then you're like, you broke my heart. And I'm like, no, I didn't. That shit's not valid. Like your heart's not broke. Okay, I, I get what you're saying. So let's say I am flirting with your boyfriend and you get jealous, which is natural. Like I would be mad at me if I seen somebody like me flirting with your boy, my boyfriend. You know what I'm saying? I get so what you're saying. So your feelings it's are a... valid, mm -hmm. but what we want to spread is love. You didn't let me finish. Uh, let's just how let's be the it. change. You're like it's okay to hate. Hate on bitches. <laughs> Shit, like, they be what? hating on me. <laughs> Hate on bitches. Okay, but listen, I love you and I love Creators Don't Die and I love Dallas so much. And I'm glad that the first episode got to be with me. And I know you're going to go in and edit it and chop it and make us cute and cute, huh? Of course. Of yeah, course. zoom in. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. Oh. <laughs> I'm giving you hella <laughs> sauce. Hey, is that Casamita? Hey. Tay, tay, tay. <laughs> Yo, hi. can you give me a hug? <laughs> I love you. I love you, you too. Take this off. It feels hot in there. This why I didn't want to take it off. Uh, tay. <laughs> I don't want to get my shoes, but hey, I could do that too. Did. That yeah. you bitches suck, we did. That you bitches suck, we did. So I was trying to get my Harlem Shake on and shit. So this was like, this was the music <laughs> in the background. Yeah, what was that? Chest bump. That was like Chest bump. A... <laughs> <laughs> I hello, you got to run across. No, nah, hold on. <laughs> Hey, what's wrong with you? <laughs> I want no, to. No, I'm not headbutting you no more. <laughs> Booty bump, ready? One, Whoa, two. What time Come on, time you one, two. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> my head don't lie. Hey, I love you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, this is Dallas. You know what I'm saying? Dallas, Dallas my the dirty D, shit. the you big duh. You bitches could never the ever, fuck ever. I didn't want to say that. <laughs> Period. I'm a girl. All right, look. Creators on that TV. Look, this is what we're doing. This is the very first episode. Appreciate y'all for watching. If you made it this far, make sure y'all go subscribe, go tune in, go like, go. Uh, uh, share, my name is Peppa the Pig. Uh, hi, I'm Peppa the Pig. Uh, hey, listen. Don't listen. You bitch, you uh. You bitch could, uh, uh huh. You bitch could, uh, uh huh. You bitch could never, never, uh, creators don't die. Creators don't, uh, die. Uh, creators don't 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 die. Uh, <laughs> bitch could never, uh, rain the snow on any weather. Hey, yeah, uh, bitch could never. Don't uh, don't do yeah. it. Uh, <laughs> This could never You'll happen. never have another guest like this again. The yeah, next one's gonna be hard to follow up. Boy. We're done. We can't even keep going and shit. You know what I'm saying? So as far as gonna die, this is it. It was a one time thing. You know what I'm saying? I thought I was gonna keep it going, but we had to take money and this had to shut down. I can't even keep going no more. Hey, you know what I'm saying? It. Bro, when you got served you gave me your money. Yo, when you got served came out, mm -hmm. there on the DVD, or was it VHS? I don't know. But DVD, there DVD. there was an option to learn a dance moves and this is what I learned. Watch out.
You got it? Nah, you got it, Toya. You You can take the, you want the Casamigos too? Some beef jerky. Hey, yo, my man came through. (laughs) Oh, yeah, I want some beef jerky. (laughs) Hope it up because you came to get it cool. Um, since it's snacking, sugar mama, hot meat, green, and oh, There's one that's not there, it's OG Cowboy, but I'm yeah. going to take it, huh? Period. I love this. Thank you. Hey, gang, first episode, you know what I'm saying? We did that. No, that, that shit was fire. I don't even know where we're going after this. Creators don't, creators don't die. die, die, die.